But, but that's fine, because when you're this tall, you just have to live with that, because every day I get people coming up to me and asking the same weird, unprompted questions, because they want the secret. They go, how did you get to be so tall? <laughs> Uh, well, San Diego, in 1985, two tall people fucked, and here I am. So, didn't have a whole lot to do with it, but ta-da. <laughs> Thanks for raw-dogging it, Dad. And to be honest, I, uh, you know, I, I don't mind when people ask me about my height. For the most part, that's fine. What I do kind of mind, though, is when you guys tell me what I should be doing with my height. You know, like, like the other day, a guy came up to me. He was like, man, if I were as tall as you, I'd be in the NBA. And he said it as if I guess I was supposed to be like, holy shit, why didn't I think of that? I will head there right now. NBA, you say, do you know if they're hiring? <laughs> do, do you guys know what the minimum salary in the NBA is? $550,000 a year. You don't think I checked into that shit? <laughs> They'll keep my resume on file, don't you worry. Now, the good news is, though, like, I, I did finally find a way to cope with all these basketball questions that I've been getting. So here's what I've done. Anytime that I'm out in public, like, say I'm at the airport, uh, I purchased an Atlanta Hawks jersey. They're an NBA team. Now, I don't know everyone who plays on the Atlanta Hawks, but neither do most people. So... I just kind of walk around and let people waste their day on me. I mean, hey, if you want to miss your flight chasing this stranger down to gate 39, I'm not going to stop you, okay? Because I play along. I get, I get little kids coming up to me asking for an autograph. They have no idea I'm just ruining their hat. Like, yeah, there you go, Junior. Don't give up on your dreams. Give him some bullshit name from some show I used to watch. Like, hey, Zach Morris, small four, nice to meet you. Atlanta Hawks star Zach Morris, good to be here. And I, by the way, I don't mean to alienate anyone when I talk about this stuff. And I say that because I know there are a lot of guys who can be very sensitive about their height, especially guys who don't have a lot of it. To be honest with you, uh... uh no, look, I, I have learned. You have got to be, ca you got to be careful with the language that you use. Man, I have learned that. I've had so many guys come up to me and be like, hey, 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 do not call us midgets. We are not midgets. And look, San Diego, that is absolutely true. You can't use that language anymore. You got to call these guys what they are. You got to call them five foot 11, okay? And look, that is the world that we... I'm sorry, I should have mentioned. There are only two kinds of people that like that joke. Women and guys over six feet tall. Everybody else, for some reason, it just strikes a chord. Can't figure it out. I will say this, though, ladies. You need to ease up on the short guys a little bit, all right? You're taking it out on them pretty hard these days. I've got, I've got so many female friends that are like, I would never date a short guy. I saw a woman tweet the other day, and she was like, hey, what do you call a guy under six feet tall? A friend. Oh, ha, ha, ha. You know, you ladies think you're so clever. Well, let me tell you something about these guys under six feet tall, okay? They are adorable, all right? Listen, these... These munchkins, they are just... They are... They are the salt of the earth. They... They're just like us, you know, they get out of bed, they put their Jimbery overalls on. One, one chubby misformed leg at a time. And I just want to say, hey, if you are a short guy here tonight, you know what? Fuck the haters. Don't let anyone keep you down. God's already done that. And also, you know, if you... Look, if you're at the bar later, you see a girl, you want to go up, dude, shoot your shot. Give it your all, because nothing, <laughs> nothing warms my heart more than, than when I see 
one of you little fuckers waddle over like <laughs> kind of tap a girl on the top of the leg uh, excuse me can I buy a little drink I, I was standing on my bar stool and I noticed you can, can I buy you a shot of apple juice Yeah, again, not as many guys laughing, but the women seem into it, so that's fine. That joke has gone much worse, by the way. I did that joke one time, and this very muscly but very short guy stood up. He was like, I'll be waiting for you outside, motherfucker. (laughs) Yeah. Where are you going to hide from me when you're not on stage? I was like, there are plenty of places I can hide from you, sir. Uh, I mean, I've got like... A roller coaster, uh, a rated R movie, the front seat of a car. I mean, the possibilities, they are endless. How'd you even get up here? Someone give this little fucker an iPad to play with until we get to grandma's house, please.